सब गाइस इंडियन साइंस ये वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ निंजा वोल्टेज एंड होप यू गाइस आर हैविंग अ ग्रेट डे टुडे एंड आई होप यू हैव ऑलरेडी अपडेटेड योर गेम एंड लुक्ड एट व्हाट दे हैव डन टू द गेम दे हैव डन लॉट ऑफ चेंजेस एंड देयर इज अ लॉट टू कवर सो दिस वीडियो माइट गेट लेंदी सो गेट प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर इट सो वी हैव अ लिस्ट ऑफ थिंग्स दे हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एंड वी गॉट या द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड द मोस्ट बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस update was that they gave the 200 chinovites as they promised in the facebook campaign and 100, 1000 fortress medal as well as an ultimate synthesis card so that's great thing also the chief fall festival has been extended till 16th of the january uh, 16 sorry 16th of december so you can still get uh, one free voltage summon every 24 hours and uh, double bonus for attack mission solo battle as well as daily achievements are still 10 shinovites uh and as well as some frogs so they are doubled so that's great by bandai till 16th of december now half time establishment expansion campaign this is mostly for beginners who haven't already you know maxed out their base level so they can now max out and increase their base level at half the time as well as Uh, amount of fortress medal is reduced so good thing for especially for new players now village has been converted to kind of 3d look so looks new and you might get a little confused i mean we are used to the old uh, old look but we can get used to it like in 2 3 days and it will be as the same as before so Uh, the inside of the game has not been changed just the outside village has been changed there are some things uh, there are still base factory bank restaurant shop monument shrine and the new thing is camera switch i will show you one in a while what is that uh, shinobis are uh, running around in the village so if your uh, base level has increased to level 20 then you will have all of i think all of your shinobi in your shinobi list uh, roaming around in your village and if you have less base level then you will have fewer shinobis so yeah now guild function has been updated so basically you will have to log in every day to max out the meter i think they are calling uh, activity gauge gauge activity gauge displays how active a guild is the activity gauge will increase or decrease according to guild member long in logins when the gauge is full the guild's level will increase and activity will tell you at 9 o'clock utc So now you can see kind of emojis plus emotes. So they are calling it emotes. I don't know why. And there are memo, 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 memo. The feature that lets you leave messages for fellow guild members. Okay. So I think you can message particular guild member. Battle badges by collecting battle badges, defense shinobis, and installations in guild member fortresses will receive some stat boost. I don't understand what they are trying to say by this, but let's check it out later. Menu you can check out and change your guild info here. Invitation, alliance medal shop. This is a new thing. You get hundred alliance medals daily as login uh, in the guild, and you can buy stuff from there. Also, as a guild leader, you can customize your guild room and how it looks like and the functions and step by step blah blah blah. Yeah. For the this version of the game is 4.0.0. So a big renewal right before the second anniversary. Yeah, we know second anniversary is coming. So they have changed some things around the game. Instead of the emoji smiley face, now you can send these stickers or something emojis. Nice thanks, okay, and stuff like that. So and also when now if you play any mission and when you deploy your shinobis, uh, a video comes like this that the shinobis are going out of the village and to fight. So little things done by Bandai. Yeah, and also they have increased the ninja card limit by 100. So previously it was 100 by default. Now it is 200. So especially for new players who don't have a lot of shinobites to expand their uh, ninja card list amount. So now they have like 200 capacity. So that's great by Bandai. Now coming on to roundup mission. I already made a video on how to get maximum amount of. what they are calling uh tentils fragments but without using klm or ems sasuke's d kit apparently so check go check it out and we this time we have two tools one for klm one for ems sasuke and there are two jutsus which are at most level 
so now we have this kurama cloak uh kurama link mode hauri so hp is 3000 attack is 730 defense 730 and two empty slots plus 12 percent annihilation power increase so the tool looks awesome same goes for even sasuke hp 2000 attack 730 defense 1000 and annihilation 12 percent empty slots 2 okay and the special shinobi specific shinobi squad for this round of mission is klm naruto ems sasuke rin sage mode as well as conan so i would suggest use klm and sasuke both in your team for the large effect and rin and choose whether between sage mode or conan as per your requirement doesn't really matter now shinobite if you are looking to purchase shinobite you will get this cool stat card for K uh, assist with hp and in case of EMS Sasuke, you will get a defense card. So yeah, if you are purchasing Shinobites, make sure to buy the this pack, Shinobite U or Shinobite or Shinobite M. Okay. Now coming on to the rekits of KLM and EMS Sasuke. No, it is not uh, Minato this time. They have changed the pattern. So the Bandai is known for changing the pattern once in a while. So this is a step up banner in which you are guaranteed the full kit of Naruto KLM but you will have to cost like uh, 2400 Shinobites for that so that's a very high amount for just one full kit so I would say instead do singles on this banner which is a normal banner and you will get you may get ultimate as well as the two new four stars so we will look at that Jutsu later same goes for Ima Sasuke this is the step up banner do this do some singles on this if you really want to have the kit and he has two four star as well as one uh, ultimate so now yeah important thing important notice for beginners now you if you are new to the game i mean if you are just installing the game and playing you will have like 1500 shinobites by end of one two three four five six seven days by the end of week you will have 1500 shinobites and some ability points as well so this is a good time to play this game if you are watching so yeah now let's jump into the trial so this is the these both are the step up banner and these are the single banner so let's try and look at the ultimate of KLM first 120 second cooldown yeah man what have you done what have you done Launches two stars and shuriken causing a huge amount of damage multiple times inflicting slowed movement effect large nothing else CP cost is 400. Oh my god He is a green character and the CP cost is 400 at level 1 Man that is bad So 120 second cooldown and it goes down at 90 second 99 second at level 8 but who will have it level 8 ultimate a very few people so Let's look how it looks like The cooldown sucks only use for full for Sam. If you have the old kit, no need to summon on this one. I mean, the ultimate is not worth it. Maybe the four star we will have to look. Yeah, not even a full room ultimate man. Just throws some two Russian shuriken. I'm not sure about this ultimate. I don't like it. Banda, you have ruined KLM Naruto for me. Now coming on to the other 4 star Uses 9 tails chakra arms to deal damage What? Just that Man 12 second cooldown at level 1 and 5 second at level 8 Man What's up with the cooldowns man? Naruto what happened to you bro? Naruto doesn't need that much time recovering his chakra or stuff Why Bandai doing such kind of things? Okay. Will will you look at the four star? Nothing special. And the cooldown is twelve second at level one. What's wrong with you, Barn? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Now let's look at the other four star. Hopefully, this one deals damage to enemies on the same floor. Also raises the evasion and critical hit rate. Of allies on the same floor effect medium oh this this looks this looks great I would say so but again look at the cooldown 17 ah, 17 seconds what's up with these numbers 
at level 1 70 second cooldown and at level 8 level 10 seconds Bandai, why are you ruining KLM Naruto Rekid? Thanks. Thank God I summoned on KLM Naruto's old kit. That was a decent, I mean, that was an awesome kit. This kit was looking bad. Okay, this four star is awesome, but the thing is, it's 10 second cooldown. It increases evasion as well as critical hit rate of the allies on the same floor. But again, it takes 10 seconds at max level to cool down. It has an iframe though. I would say for 3 seconds. Almost as long as an ultimate. That's great. The, uh, if you are lucky and 1 or 2 singles, you might get this 4 star. And if you do, stop. Don't summon further. Unless you have a second account. Now let's look at Sasuke. My boy Sasuke. Okay, 120 second cooldown. What happened to you, bro? Summon Susano, causing huge amount of damage multiple times with flame control sword, inflicting seal. Increase damage dial to enemies with damage over time. So, okay. So, this one is better as compared to Naruto. Because, you know, it does a bunch of other stuff as well besides just using the ultimate. It inflicts damage if you have damage over time effect inflicted on the enemy. It will do more damage. And also it inflicts seal. So yeah, the ultimate looks decent but again 120 second cooldown is bad. Bad bad bad. Hopefully they launch the old banner. So I would get the ultimate. Now this one is persistent good fortune flame control sword rage okay what is this slashes enemies causing damage and inflicting damage over time effect and paralysis else increases users attack power effect medium nice 4 second cooldown man that's what I'm talking about 4 second cooldown is still good I mean it's, I mean it is good it is very good so let's have a trial of this one so the paralysis time is 3.5 seconds, damage over time is 21 seconds. So let's look at what is Nice! Who's here? Okay. Looks nice. I mean, this is probably, uh, I mean, pro not probably, this is a better 4 star than Naruto's except the roar one the roar one is awesome this is nice let's check out the other one uh piercing black flame flame control sky stage this is also 5 second cooldown nice creates black flame ahead causing damage and decreasing defense also inflict damage man <laughs> damage over time they, if you didn't already know EMS Sasuke already has 2 jutsus which have damage over time and I frames now he has two more damage over time so he's a damage over time boss I can say so now let's see this one also decreases defense just like the Amaterasu what does it look like okay it goes through walls decent so you can replace the Amaterasu 3 star with this one and get the same thing as well as damage over time nice so overall as comparing between KLM and uh, Sasuke EMS cricket I would say Sasuke is doing awesome so, that's my opinion so that was the what you say mm, overview and the chart is here now it is shifted here and there. Now, oh, let me show you the guild. Where is the guild? Yeah, here it is. So basically, UI has been changed in the guild. Now you can do a bunch of stuff. Not really important. I haven't already know. I didn't know what is this badge. How do we get them? But when I do, I will let you know, guys. And this is the gauge meter. It increases when people log in. 
on daily basis so yeah then we have the alliance medal shop we have the invitation separated in three categories we have the menu and we have the memo we have the emotes and and we have the chat also here and this chat you can also send these stickers and yeah there is that and uh, nothing more to see everything looks the same in, from inside except these things that which i told you so yeah that was it i guess so guys hope you like the update uh i know it is a bit complicated but still nice i mean things have to be changed once in a while so that people stay for the game so hope you like uh, hope you guys like the video if you did drop down some comments and if you are new to the channel do subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, until next time sayonara